What's up, people? Welcome to the channel and welcome to my man cave. So just recently, I went ahead and added a new addition to the man cave. I don't do a lot of videos on the man cave, but this is a passion of mine. I like setting it up for parties, fight nights, the big game. I got my little YouTube area over there where I edit my videos. And I just set up over here a projection screen. This is my old projection screen, but I just recently picked up a new one. This is the 100 inch motorized ALR screen by VividStorm. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. All right guys, so before we dive into the projection screen, let's go over what it comes with. You're gonna get your power cord here, and as you guys can see, nice long power cord. You're also gonna get a couple remotes, which is nice. You get one that's an RF remote, and then one that's an infrared remote. But real sleek design there, I like that a lot. And then it does come with some mounting brackets here. Also, you get hardware for that. You're also going to get a USB dongle provided. And this, they describe as a gift. This is going to be a wireless USB projector trigger. So how this works is this is going to plug into your projector. And when this sees power, it's going to send a signal to your projection screen to lift up and power on. So it's kind of cool. I've used this with my projector. And... I did notice that this doesn't work with every projector and it does state that that it's in a beta phase right now and it might not be compatible with all brands of projectors so this is a nice idea but might not work with all projectors they also give you a two inch brush here to clean the screen they suggest that you use the brush not your hand or anything to brush lint or any type of dirt off and then you do have two adjusting tools here and i'll show you guys what those are for in a minute. And then you're gonna get a thank you and your user manual. All right guys, so let's take a closer look at the projection screen here. As you guys can see right on the front here, it has Vivid Storm emblem on there, pretty cool, since 2004. It's got a little warning sticker here, keep hands from the closing. Right here is where the screen's gonna raise out of. The housing is an all aluminum housing, so, Really nice build quality on this. All right, down at this end, they got two rubber caps. And this is where you're going to use your adjusting tools. You're going to stick these adjusting tools down into those holes. And you guys can see here, it's going to limit how high the screen goes. So when you turn this on, it's going to have like a set limit of how high it goes. You also can manually stop it with the remote. So not a big deal and adjust it on the go, which is nice. But if you want to just be able to set it and forget it, you're gonna use these tools and you'll be able to finally tune it to how high it raises. Over on this side is where all your power controls are gonna be. You're gonna put your power cable there, of course. Here is your power button to turn it on and off. And then there's another manual switch here to raise and lower the projection screen. So just in case you do lose the remotes, you can do it on the side of the projection housing right here. And then also on the side, they do have the infrared receiver. As you guys can see there, and it does come with some sticky tape that you can use to maybe mount this on the side if you wanted to. This is going to work with your infrared remote. Go ahead, walk around to the back here. Just some more warning stickers. And it's got a little bit of the specs on it. And then that's pretty much it on this side. We'll go ahead and flip this so you guys can see the bottom. So this is what the bottom is going to look like. You got some feet here with nice rubber padding on each end. You got some in the middle here. And then walk all the way down. You got them on the other side. So this will protect any type of furniture or flooring. When you do sit this down now this also can be mounted to the floor so these swivel out which is nice and then you can mount this to the floor if need be another mounting option that vivid storm has is they have wall brackets and you can find these on amazon or on vivid storms a website but these are pretty nice 
This is gonna allow you to mount it to your wall, kind of give it a real sleek, low profile look. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead. I got it plugged in. Flip the power switch on here. You get an audible beep there. And then we'll grab the remote. I've been using the white remote here. And hit the up button. Show you guys it in action here. And I'm probably gonna stop it before it hits my ceiling. And this is in real speed here. And there you go, I went ahead and stopped it. As you guys can see, the ALR screen, it's gonna be an ambient light rejecting screen. So that's the difference between these white projection screens and this screen. Now this is gonna be a more expensive screen, obviously, all around because it's ALR, it is motorized, 100 inch here. But as you guys can see, you get a little bit of white right here. And the reason why is because the screen is designed to reject light from the top and from the sides. This is designed to be used with an ultra short throw projector that's gonna sit right in front of the screen from the bottom and shine upwards. So it's gonna receive the maximum amount of lighting from the bottom up, reject lighting from the sides and from the top. That's why these work so well in lit areas. Guys, go over here, you see how it starts to get a little bit black because there's not as much light emitting. Go ahead and walk around the back of it here so you can see the mechanics of it. So pretty cool design. Roll up, as you can see down in there, this is a roll up screen. It's got these nice hefty arms here that fold out to extend the screen up. Beefy cable system. This is not cheaply made at all. Guys, a look down here, the circuitry. You got your motor, your wheel. Everything's really, really well built. And then it's got this wire on the side here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is what's gonna add tension to the screen to make sure that there's no wrinkles or anything like that in it. So really impressed by the build quality of the screen. Now we'll go ahead and use the remote, put it back down. And these guys will see, moves pretty fast and it's not loud at all. So pretty quiet, nice smooth transition. And then it tucks away real nicely. And then like I said earlier, if for some reason you lose your remotes, you can Lower and raise it by just hitting this button. Locks in the place, you don't have to hold it. And it lowers the screen or raises the screen, which is really nice. So multiple different ways to be able to use the screen. You can use the two remotes provided. You can use the built-in button on the side here. And then also, like I said earlier, they got the dongle that hooks up to your projector through USB. And once your projector turns on, send the signal to this that automatically raises it up, which is also pretty nice. All right, guys, so I went ahead and moved the projection screen over here, just on the floor, right in front of my 82-inch Samsung here, just to give you guys a perspective. So that's what it looks like, fully extended up. You get your little black bar right there. And of course, you're going to put your projector right on the floor in the front of it. Go ahead and step back here so you guys get a full effect of it. Like I said earlier, guys, this is 100 inches. So, of course, the screen is going to be a little bit smaller than the actual base. So, the screen you're looking at about 87 inches wide. 
and then from top to bottom you're looking at about 65 inches so 65 inches tall and then like I said this is a hundred inch screen I mean just for reference go ahead and lower it back down here I said just be able to see my 82 inch behind it this thing just really makes my 82 inch look small and it's just going to tuck away right at the bottom there all right guys so that's just a quick look i got a projector down here this is an optima not a 4k projector 1080p 3600 lumens i think i'm testing out a couple projectors here but i'll do a more in-depth video on what this looks like with different projectors and different lighting but i just want to give you guys a quick look i mean the screen is huge immersive as you guys can see it's still lit down here got my lights on and everything and it's doing a great job blocking out that ambient light usually in lit situations like this get the really washed out look on a traditional projection screen so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below hopefully this video was helpful for you guys i got some links in the description box below so you can find out more information they got this on vivid storms a website and also on amazon so if you guys want to maybe purchase one of these or also get more information check those links below i'll be doing another video here shortly to give you guys a better idea of the picture quality with a couple different projectors, different lighting situations. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Hopefully you found it useful. Until the next one, I'll talk to you later.